What is up, y'all? It's your girl, Miss Jones, and I'm back with another Mental Monday. Um, happy Vlogtober, day nine. We're drinking our second juice for today. This is the lemon mint kind. And I just wanted to touch on this Mental Monday about Vlogtober and social media, period. Don't overwhelm yourselves. Like, just because people are participating in certain things on social media does not mean you have to, especially if you don't have the time or you're building other things in your life, like, don't catch FOMO. <laughs> if y'all don't know what FOMO is, FOMO is a social media term, fear of missing out. And a lot of people do catch that. This is why a lot of influencers are pretty popular. And this is why a lot of people like to shop ahead of time for the seasons and try to put out whatever, you know, just to be on top or be ahead of things and get other people's opinions and get the people's um, validations and popularity and whatever the case may be. Now, I'm not saying that's for everybody, but really loud in the back. <laughs> Look, I can't even talk. Outside of the park is crazy. <laughs> and if you are participating in Vlogtober, my hat is off to y'all. It is not easy. I'm participating myself. Even though it's not easy, I quite do enjoy it. Like, it kind of just gets things moving for me to be able to just communicate with people and network on a different level. Outside of just business, like, it's more on the social level. As y'all see, I be by myself a lot of the times. Even though I like that, it's not always healthy to be that way as well. And it does take a toll on the mental. So in honesty, like that really goes back to say, I just want people to have some type of interaction with you, but yeah, I had to sit down because the light kept changing. When it comes to FOMO, just try not to catch it. It's really not like you're catching a cold. It's really all about your mental state, how you can handle things, what you intake. And it actually worsens the symptoms of depression, anxiety, stress, all of that so, and you don't need that <laughs> nobody needs that so when it comes to social media especially for my youtube family take your time like take your time on what you want to build when it comes to content how you want to create how you want to put yourself out there like don't rush it's, i've seen some uh, grand youtubers who have been on youtube for like eight plus years and it took them a long time to get to where they're at and some people are really full of themselves where they're not really commenting back they're not saying i hate that they're not responding to the comments they're not showing love to other people's pages whatever the case may be and then they're questioning like i'm putting out work i'm putting out content and why is, why am i not growing why am i not growing one of my favorite hardworking YouTubers is um, Mia Fam or Mia Fam. I'm sorry if I put your name so high. But her dedication, her hard work, everything like she's done, like she deserves it. She has millions and millions of subscribers. But she's put herself out there. She's told her truth. It's great content. She puts it together well. She's very sociable. So she deserves that life, like no matter what. And mind you, I know my channel, like I know my channel is not doing its best at all. But I had a lot of complications within my first year of being on YouTube. This is actually my... My bad, y'all. My camera cut off. Um, and I had to come back to the car because it was just like the traffic, the noise, the wind. I really don't know if y'all can hear me at that point. But it was just all of that. Think of it car-wise. What is... Yo, I didn't even tell y'all a story. Oh my god. Okay, I'm gonna tell y'all a story after I finish. So, like I was saying, um, I know I'm not the one to like give out too many tips when it comes to YouTube. This is actually my second year of actually posting and everything on YouTube. This year, I did a lot of learning, trial, and tribulation. I was just putting things out there. I was just trying to learn how to work um, certain apps, how to edit. You know just how to put videos together i was why i was supporting and watching other people to get ideas and all of that so 
I can say that YouTube is overall enjoyable. Once you partake in watching other people's videos and you see how some people put out different type of topics to talk about, and you know like you have great ideas or you have a great day or you live in a fabulous city or you have knowledge of the perfume or being a doctor, you might be a dermatologist, you might be a real estate agent. We use YouTube to make extra money on the side as well. So don't get me wrong. Honestly, come on now, like everybody loves themselves. In my opinion, I feel like a lot of people who do YouTube really, really love themselves. Like, of course you love yourself. Don't doubt yourself, you know what I'm saying? Like, don't, we can't deny the fact of that. Not too many people really hating on themselves or hate themselves or whatever are trying to put themselves out there. That's my opinion, don't hold that against me. <laughs> Cause I don't want nobody bringing up this video years later when my, hopefully when my channel blows up and it's like oh well she said this and she said that and that's another thing i had to learn like you have to be careful on actually voicing your opinions and putting them out there because once these videos are uploaded whether you can delete it or whatever somebody can bring up any and everything from your past and you know once you make it to a certain level on this platform people love to do that when, once you make it to a certain level people will start with the negative comments and everything you'll be like what who is this why why would you you know not the topic at hand right now the topic at hand is when it comes to social media y'all always take a break always take your time don't compare your lifestyle to other people don't fall into that depression don't fall into that hole of it has to always be a competition or it's always a battle meet people network with people be friendly to people be nice to people support people if you're not supporting people how do you think people are supposed to support you like how are you supposed to get into the algorithm if you're not supporting multiple people <clears throat> that's one key thing kind of works for me because at the end of the day if i click on your video whether the quality is good whether the content is good whatever if you're not talking about nothing negative like satanism or something that i don't agree with Nine times out of ten, I'm gonna try to support you in any way. Whether I comment, whether I just watch it and like it, whether I'm subscribing to your channel, I might follow you on Instagram, you know, just to see what are you about or what's your what's your storyline or where you're trying to go with your channel, whatever. But at the end of the day, y'all really have to like support people to get that support in return. Take one of your top favorite YouTubers. Do you really think? realistically do you really think that person made it to where they made it to getting sponsorships without supporting nobody else now they might don't continue to do it but guarantee when they first started they were doing it guarantee that not all their friends and family are supporting them <laughs> not all of their co-workers are supporting them not all of their spouses are supporting them on each every day come on it's a million people out here that know how to do wig installation. It's a million people out here that know how to do makeup. It's a million people with culinary skills out here. It's a million people that can tell you about finances, how to build your finances, how to house. It's a million people that study health and tell you different aspects of health and they put it on YouTube. Those people were supporting people at one point. Help yourself grow. Like, just because you're putting yourself out there does not mean everybody's gonna grasp onto you just because your wig is laid, your nails is done, you have a pretty face, you have a big butt. It don't work like that, sweetheart. I'm sorry, I have to be real with y'all. It don't work like that. The world doesn't work like that. So what makes you think you can get on YouTube and it works like that? So don't y'all, don't be afraid to support people. If y'all coming in on this video, a big shout out to y'all, but y'all have conversations under my videos. I don't care, y'all. Subscribe to other people's channel under my videos. Check out their channel. See what they have to offer. They might have something you like. They might have something you don't. But support your people. And y'all know what I mean by that. Support your people no matter what. Even if you subscribe to somebody's channel, you don't have to watch all their videos. You don't have to comment on all of their stuff. But by supporting them, you will put yourself in the algorithm. And you never know who might come to your channel off of their channel. So, and there's nothing wrong with that. It's not, we're not in high school. It's not a friend group thing. When I see people that I support, and then I see some of my new subscribers supporting them as well. Like, I love to see that. That That's amazing. Because that means, even though I'm a, a very minuscule YouTuber, I 
I still feel like I'm somewhat in the community of YouTube. That's what drives traffic to your channel. Anyway, y'all, I don't want to keep rambling because I'm getting um, dehydrated. I don't want to talk your head off yet. I hope y'all Monday is going well. I hope October is going well for y'all as well if you chose to participate. If you didn't choose to participate, I want to know why. Like, I mean, obvious reasons. A lot of people don't have time. I know people start new jobs. I know people have school. I know people have work. Let me know if it's something that you that you consider doing or would do in the future or even vlogmas. It's ample amount of time to pre-prep for that. Get some pre-Christmas type videos out, season change videos out. Um, so yeah, y'all let me know. I think, I don't know how vlogmas is gonna go for me, but I think I might choose to participate. I don't know, it just, it just depends on the timing at hand. We still got like a whole month and a half, so. I don't know. I would love to, but I the way my lifestyle and everything's working out for me, it's just like, I don't know. It's very, behind the scenes on this side is very chaotic for me. <laughs> I got a lot going on. I'm even mind blowing myself on by putting my content out there and sticking with it and getting it done. But I just choose not to um, show a lot of things because I'm not really at that point with self-fulfillment yet. So that's why y'all don't see all the other things that are going on. But anyways, y'all, uh, let me not lose chain of thought and keep on chattering. I love you all. Thank you all to my new subscribers. Once again, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Um, you show me love. I show you love. Y'all show other people love. Stop being stingy. Be kind to people. And y'all enjoy the rest of your day. And you'll see me in Vlogtober Day 10.